Hello, I'm Lieutenant Adam Church. Hello, I'm HM1 Mark Skaggs. Today we'll be discussing the next generation gunner seat in conjunction with Master Chief Hoffman and AWS-1 Selmeyer. This video will cover pre-flight procedures, ergonomic considerations, and features of your new gunner seat. I'll be covering ergonomic features and health benefits of the seat. Give a quick look at the, the buckle system, make sure there's no corrosion. Uh, just like any gunner seat that we've experienced, nothing's changed with the new gunner seat uh, when it comes to uh, just checking the general integrity, uh, security, and condition and FOD of, uh, of all areas of the gunner seat. Initial inspection of the seat and pre-flight of the seat is pretty simple. Uh, just like any seat, you're going to go check the integrity of the straps, make sure no cuts, frays, or anything like that, and make sure you get some freedom of the movement uh, once your seat is unlocked and that all the inertia reels are given free movement and that once you lock it down, uh, everything stays locked. Uh, the next real important change that's changed between our old gunner seat and the new one is really making sure you get a good weight adjustment and, and the four different adjustments that actually protect you in any crash. And uh, you can set that based off of the weight parameters that are right there on the headrest. Uh, you want your, your, your naked body weight uh, adjustment to reflect uh, so that you're getting the proper amount of crash attenuation uh, if you were to need it uh, in, a, in a crash. So the next area of inspection are the crash attenuators themselves. The crash attenuators are the four white tubes on the back of the, the seat. Uh, they have a, uh, an indicator uh, where I'll point with my pen here. You'll see a slight amount of red protruding right now. That's okay. Uh, if the seat were to stroke in any way, a large amount of red will be showing, as well as a shear pin, which is right here. Uh, if the seat were to stroke, that shear pin will break, and you'll have a clear indication uh, by both the red uh, showing and the shear pin uh, that the seat has stroked and that seat will be down. Okay, so the next item I'm looking at is the deck plate and the roof plate stops, uh, the seat stops themselves. Um, these seat stops can be pushed into the deck plate and rotated, and this would allows the maintenance personnel to actually uh, remove the seat from the seat track. Uh, for in-flight, you want to make sure that those are up. And protruding so that if the seat were to go forward that seat stop would stop it from coming off the track and as with the uh, the deck the roof plate also has the same seat stop you want to make sure that one is protruding as well so the great part of the new gunner seat is the uh, is the levers that are underneath the seat cushion these levers independently operate the lower and upper tracks so that you can position the seat in a uh, in a slightly reclined position giving you about a five degree of incline, making it a lot more comfortable than the previous gunner system. The right lever operates the bottom rail independently. The top rail, or the left lever, operates the top rail. And that's what gives you that nice incline position, comfort. So a unique function of the new gunner seat system is the ability to actually have the uh, seat cushion stow away and make room for you to put uh, equipment, storage, uh, bring on uh, for logistics, things like that, packages, whatever, uh, when you need the extra space. Seat cushion basically flips up into the, into the back and then you have a, retraining, a retaining strap system that comes out and snaps in front. One on both sides. So the next important adjustment is the height adjustment, which is uh, done by the knob back here over your left shoulder. Pull the knob out and then put your weight back on the seat to actually uh, adjust the seat lower. And then release and it'll pop into place. If you need to raise it, the, uh, the same principles apply. Pull that knob out, take the weight off the seat, let the seat go up, it is spring-loaded, and then it pops right back into place. Uh, so the one major item of note is uh, not really attaching our carabiners that we uh, often utilize to stow gear to any of the, uh, the cabling systems that are used to actually lock and unlock our inertia reel system. Uh, please remain, leave those free of, uh, of any objects. Just like our previous gunner's belt system, uh, we utilize a five-point harness that is capable of extending outside the gunner's window. Uh, it is put on roughly the same way two over the shoulders, buckled into the, uh, the reel, and then two along the thighs, 
buckled into the side of the room. Once all five points are connected, you want to go ahead and readjust, cinch down that harness, uh, and make sure you're nice and secure within the harness itself. A couple of the benefits of the new gunner seat is going to be correct spine and neck alignment. This is very important for air crew as many air crew experience lower back pain. This is going to help to reduce some of that. Because of the ergonomic capabilities of the seat being able to adjust, it's going to promote comfort and it's also going to aid the air crew in completing missions for longer periods of time. The uh, correct spine alignment and the ability to adjust the seat with legs extended forward or back is going to help promote circulation, which is also going to help the air crew maintain their situational awareness. Another feature of the gunner seat is a lumbar support. So lumbar support is adjusted on the back of the gunner seat. There's this retaining clip strap here in the back. All you do, simply loosen it up, pull down on the lumbar support strap. That'll raise the lumbar support from lower to higher. You can feel a change. And then coming back to the back of the seat, just tighten that strap back down. Similarly, to lower the lumbar support, uh, loosen the strap, pull slack from the bottom of the seat, and that lumbar support will slowly lower. Now it's down here in the bottom of the seat. And then tighten it back down. 